Hey, girl. Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is my husband. Yeah, what up? You probably seen him in like my vlogs. Mm -hmm. So here he is. He's going to help me tell a story. Today is story time. We're going to tell um, my labor and delivery story. Oh my god. So once upon a time, a prince was born. Not really. Okay, so. Uh, Bro. My son is a prince. Don't hype him up. Anyway, so. <laughs> Let's see, you guys. I don't know if you've already seen my uh, How I Found Out I Was Pregnant story. If you haven't, you should go watch that. I'll put it in the description bar. Is it down below? Or down below? Yeah, it's probably down below. We're going to make it down below, so. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, okay. So, we found out we were pregnant in June and that we were doing March. I mean, mm. not March. <laughs> September. Bro, do you I not been, know when your kid getting, is born? I've been getting <laughs> birthday wrong all week. Yo, what did you, yesterday you said <laughs> June, June 23rd? I'm like, I don't know. What? So he was born in September. My due date was September 14th. And he decided to stay there until December 23rd until he got evicted. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was doing a Sunday. I stopped working that Friday. And they told me on Sunday to call and see like what's going on if they have any beds and stuff and so I did and they didn't have any beds like how heartbreaking is that this is the week after I was due by the way so right. I was due the following Sunday and then the next Sunday since he wasn't here yet they were talking about inducing me or whatever so only thing I was worried about was her having a kid in the car or at home yeah no nah, bro one going down yeah so um I called and they didn't have anything. They were like, call back tomorrow. So I was like, okay. So I called in the morning and they didn't have anything in the morning. And then they told me to call back at like seven at night. And then I called back and they finally had something available. But like how heartbreaking is that? You call like twice and you think you're gonna have a kid and then like you're not. So then we go uh, at seven, I think. Yeah, seven. like. Somewhere around there. Yeah, it was around like yeah. seven. And like we get all settled in, we get checked in. I think we still have a little footage. Maybe we'll like put that in. I think so. Right I, I think I recorded it. I don't know. Yeah. I should have recorded the whole thing. I'm you should have. I wish you did. Yeah, it would have been funny. But at the time, like I didn't really want to. But um, it's okay. <laughs> now I kind of wish I did. Um. So we record. Or we got there. We checked in and everything. And then they gave me like this pill, like you know, in there. <laughs> They put like that pill what? up there. You don't remember that? No. They put like a pill up there overnight. Oh. To help me dilate. See, I, don't, I don't think I was paying attention to that. Yeah, so they put like a pill up there to help me dilate. And That's like nasty. in the. I know, I'm sorry. And then no, like. It's not nasty. I mean, it's natural, right? I mean, technically it's not like natural. Oh, that's true. Because it's like induced. They're like making the baby come. So anyway, so the next morning, they're like, nothing really happened. So they're like, okay, let's just try to get some fluids in you. Because uh, I wanted to not have any drugs. That was like my plan. I was going to go like as far as I could. And then if I needed the drugs, then I would. And like my grandma was there and she was all like, oh, I've had like 10 kids and <laughs> I didn't have any medicine for any of them. Like, you're fine. And I was like, okay, I can do it. And then like, I thought I was going to die. Yeah. So they're like, okay, let's get like your, because you have to finish like two bags of fluid before you could get your epidural. So I had to do that. And then, you know, like when you're like 28, is it 28 weeks? I don't know, like they do that strep B thing like in your choach and they like see if you have like that bacteria or whatever. Of course I had it. So I had to have like <laughs> so I had to <laughs> So I had to have like that strep B like antibiotic thing. I don't know. So I had to have that IV and then the um the like saline or whatever fluids they give you mm. before I could get my epidural, but at the same time they were also giving me the Pitocin and the Pitocin made my uh, contractions so bad like the night before my uncle was looking at the thing and he's like can you feel the contraction <laughs> and I was like no like, I couldn't feel anything but the next morning I could definitely feel when they gave me that Pitocin yeah. it looked like a mountain yeah it was it like just like little teeny thing. tiny ones but when I got the Pitocin it was like way off the charts and then I decided to get the epidural and that hurt so bad huh I felt bad for her cause you know she was she was like hunched over and they shot her in the back? I'm like, dude. Nah, bro. It hurts so bad. It looks nasty, too. It, like, they do it in your spine, like, and if you move, 
Like they can like you kill you. You kept trying to move. I'm like, you gonna be paralyzed, bro. And they can only do it like in between the contractions. So like they had to wait. Then it took them like an hour to get there in the first place. So that like sucked. And then after I got the epidural, I could still move my leg. And I was like freaking out. <laughs> I was like, I can still feel my leg. And they're like, it's okay. And I was like, no, like I can feel like I don't want to feel it. And then they're like, no, like you're fine. But like I was really scared because I didn't want to feel it because who wants to feel that? Because I had, I had made it up in my mind that I would go like as far as I could. And I couldn't do it anymore. Like it just hurt so bad. You did good though. I'll give you that high five. Thanks. Just push out a kid, no big deal. <laughs> so... After I got, uh oh, I'm kicking in. So after I got the epidural, I think I got the epidural around like two. In the morning? No, in the afternoon. No, oh, that's when my smoking. No, I got it at like two. Mm -hmm. And then I just kept getting like contractions and stuff. It was all, well, I mean, it wasn't all bad because I couldn't really feel it. But people were like getting on my nerves. Like this fool was like, does it hurt? <laughs> And I was just like, shut up, stop talking right now. I was so mad at him. And then they like freaked me out because uh, after I got that drill and stuff, when they checked me, they said like I was getting a fever. And when they checked the baby, they were like, oh, he's getting a fever too. So they were they, like freaking me out. They're like, okay, we have to like tell you something to go over some options with you. Do you want everybody to leave the room or do you want them to stay? And I like got really freaked out. Yeah, that it, was the scary part. Cause I'm like, I don't know if he's sick or what. Right. Or... It was really scary. So I was like, okay, everybody can just leave. And then they're like, okay. Well, we don't want to do a C-section. I was like, I don't want a C-section either. They're like, we're going to try everything uh, we can do. But if it doesn't work, we're going to have to do a C-section. And I was like, oh, that's going to suck. Because I like really didn't want to have to do a C-section. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, well, we'll try everything we can. And I think, by, was it time for me to push then? No, Not you yet. still had more time to go. And I still had more time. But they were like letting me know that he already had a fever. <laughs> oh wait i forgot okay so before they gave me the epidural they told me to go walk around remember in the way the uh hospital like the maternity part was it was like a circle so you could just go around so they told us to get up and walk before i was going to be like in the bed and as soon as i got up i left the room remember and my water broke yeah and he was... pooped in me yeah so, <laughs> that's that's why you have to feel it because you do it yeah well i don't think that's why they said it was like from the, like epidural no, can give you they said uh, he pooped. And no, it made, made both y'all sick. No, that's not what they said. Mm. <laughs> was, so, was I even there? For I, this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so as soon as I got up, I was like, I think my water broke, and then they like made me put on a pad. They're like, okay, well let's see if like that's what it is, and it was, and it was brown. They say like, that's or <laughs> was it brown? <laughs> no, it's like yo. It was gross. Every hour they would come in and like change your pad. Yes. And she kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like, stop saying it. sorry. It's natural. I know it was nasty though. That's gross. Look at me, y'all. It stunk. It smelled like. <laughs> it smelled like fluids. It was, Yuck! It was nasty. You're gross. <laughs> they don't need to know that. Cut that. They do. Out. No, that's that's all part of you know giving birth. You pooping nasty. on yourself. I didn't poop on myself. You almost did. I did not. You did. No, I didn't. When you were pushing? I did not. You, you, listen, she kept, she was like, did I do to on myself? We were not even to their part. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Oh my gosh. See <laughs> this guy. Okay, so. Where was I? Okay, so after it was time to push, I told everybody to just, like get out. I didn't want anybody. And then like when I pushed, like besides him, and he was such a trooper. He held my leg up and the nurse held my other leg up, and <laughs> and I, just I got flashbacks. Yuck! So I pushed, and they were like. No, it was, you know what? It was a really beautiful thing, though. Keep going, keep going. It was beautiful, man. <laughs> so, after I got him out, they said, and it was crazy because at the same exact no, you're time. Missing, you're missing, like, a whole step. What did I miss? Like, all right, so, she's, like, all discombobulated, right, and pushing. And there he is, like, this is kind of graphic, but it was like this, and then it started expanding. Oh. <laughs> Put your head down. And then you just see, like, this. This this is all you see, oh my and I'm like, oh my god, life is life is starting to, to 
to take place. Oh my god. And then slowly but surely it just started expanding and expanding. Wait. You're missing a part. Because at the same time, I was pushing. There was only one doctor on call because it was late at night. Oh, yeah, that's and right. And they had to hurry up and get him out. They're like, okay, we got to get him out if you don't want a C-section. Because there was another lady pushing, and then another lady was pregnant with twins. And she had got one out, but the other one wouldn't come out. So they had to hurry up and give her a C-section. Yeah. There's only one doctor on call. That was crazy. So they had to use the vacuum. Yeah, yeah. And that was the crazy part. Yeah. Because, like, literally, they put this little strap. So... Put your head down again. Oh my she gotta be our right so, so literally, it's like this. Careful. Just like you see. Uh, look, you just see a handful here. I'm like, man, you got a handful here already. And then they just put like this vacuum and it just like sucked it. Bro, oh, hold on. You my head. <laughs> but anyway, it was like this vacuum and it just like so, you see his head slowly coming out. His head just like sticking out. And he's just like this, and then they just like suck the rest out. It, I kid you not, he just like popped out, literally. When they say popping kids out, he just like popped out. <laughs> it was beautiful though. I, I, I cried because I'm like, this is my child. And then I was more so happy because this this woman right here, she she gave life for you know for me, not for me. We didn't really. I ain't gonna say we wanted the life, but. We did. Be nice we, to my son. We did want the life, <laughs> just not at that moment. If you watch the original video, he was. We wanted to wait, but it was beautiful just seeing him, seeing her, seeing her go through that. I felt bad for her, but at the same time, I appreciated her because. Thanks. She provided life. I'm like, man, a person just came out of her. Like seriously, just a little human. Looking and, like an alien. And then it was so gross because, okay, so since he had a fever, they were like, well, to make sure he doesn't have, like, any, like, uh, infections or, like, because, you know, if you have a fever, that means, like, infection, so they wanted to make sure he was okay. So I got to hold him for, like, two seconds, and they took him off to the ICU, mm -hmm. and then, like, they still had my legs up in the stirrups, and they're like, can we get him up in here? Yo, that's what she was like, did I, I like, do to him? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't poop. It was just, I was just. I didn't poop, right? No, you didn't. It was just, it was it was just like uh, bloody. It was it was it was just bodily fluids, man. It was fluids <laughs> everywhere. You say that so nasty. <laughs> it's not nasty, but that's what it was. It wasn't like blood. It was just secretions everywhere. Oh my god! Can you pick a different word? <laughs> oh my god! No, so, but for real. Oh, and then this fool. I don't know what he was doing in there, but he literally had his bill cord in a knot. Like, oh, it was a, a literal knot. knot. I wish we could have took a picture. Like, literally, when he was little, he must have, like, jumped through and, like, made a knot. <laughs> it was so tight. They were like, if he would have stayed in there longer, he probably would have, like, been missing, like, nutrition. Because he had, like, a tight knot in there. Go like, on. an act. Oh, we're going to get a demonstration. Like, a literal knot. So they took him to, oh, here comes the knot. Like, literally, that's how big his knot was in his umbilical cord. I'm like, bro, how do you do that? Oh, and, like, another thing, I don't know if, I didn't know this. You When you know people are like, oh, how long did you push for? You can only push while you have a contraction. So, I know I was, like, like if you're watching this and you're, like, pregnant, like, don't freak out. Like, I didn't even know that. Like, you know, people are like, I pushed for, like, four hours. Like, literally, it's only, you can only push, like, when you're having contraction. So, it's, like, not pushing the whole time. Mm. Yeah, but pushing was, like, freaking me out because I couldn't feel anything. So, <laughs> then I was, like, freaking myself out. I was, like, <gasps> like, in between, they had to give me oxygen. And, like, that was making me feel like I couldn't breathe even more. It was, like, too much. And I never wanted to do it again. But after... <laughs> but what? after what? after I had him, he was what? in the ICU for like a couple of days and he had a little IV. Yeah. Oh, I think we got some pictures. We'll show some pictures at the end. Yeah, we'll put it in there. Just a, little, just a little pumpkin. That's what we called him when he was born, pumpkin. Oh, I never want to do it again though. Ever. Ever, ever. What? Don't act brand new. You know I don't want to work Listen, we, <clears throat> we, we fighting right now. Um, Having another baby. She having another one. She just don't. Nope. I've been eating my pineapple and all that stuff. <laughs> I don't think pineapple. Well, all right, whatever. But uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> okay, that was our labor and delivery story. <laughs>
<laughs> Let me know if you want him back on my channel. I think we're gonna do like a couple's channel anyway. I think, I think this might transform into one, or maybe we'll start a new one. We're talking, but yeah, Logan's getting a channel. <clears throat> when that becomes available, I'll put that down below. Yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys want more stories, or if you ever want to see him again. If you don't, I totally understand. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love you. Uh, okay. Sorry, I love you too, Punky. Okay. Uh, it's my Punky, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey. Say hi.